Well, today there's new hope for ALS patients. The FDA approved a treatment that was directly developed because of the money raised by the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. WBZ's Anna Myler spoke with Pete Frady's mother about the role her late son played in this incredible breakthrough. We're ecstatic. Nancy Frades is celebrating the FDA approval of a drug to treat ALS, the rare and cruel disease that took the life of her son. Back in 2012, when Pete was diagnosed, um, we were told there was no treatment. So what this means is that going forward, anyone who's diagnosed with ALS right now, they're going to say, we have a treatment for you. Pete Frades was the inspiration behind the viral ice bucket challenge that raised millions of dollars for ALS research. 2.2 million went toward funding the clinical trial for the drug now called Relivrio, developed by a biotech company in Cambridge. The FDA approval was based on the results from that phase two clinical trial of 137 people. But concerns have been raised. There's not enough data to prove the drug's effectiveness. I'm very vocal about this is that uh, ALS is just as serious as some cancers, and cancer drugs are approved on one study with actually smaller survival effects than this. The data showed the patients who received the drug instead of the placebo experienced a slower that, uh, rate of decline and prolonged the patient's life by four to ten months, which Nancy says is everything. And I would have given anything to have Pete for ten more months. About 5,000 people in the U.S. are diagnosed with ALS every year. Nancy says just hours after Pete's diagnosis, it became his mission to make a difference for them. And he pulled me aside and he said, Mom, I know how hard you're going to work at this. And I need you to understand that all the work we're about to do is not going to be in time for me. But it's going to be so that no other family has to go through this. And it's happening. Anna Myler, WBZ News.